This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. The first type of a searching site that we're going to deal with is a web portal. Now, technically, a web portal is a whole lot more than just another site on the Internet because it links a variety of information together on a single page in kind of a uniform fashion. Uh, these web portals can be completely customized as well. I only want to see the information that I want to see, you know. And so when I visit the page, I can be presented with sports and weather and news and entertainment and comics and a variety of other things. Now, in most cases, this information is actually coming from different venues. Different sites are populating into this uh, web portal, or at least the information is coming from a different site. Web portals might also offer additional services. In fact, almost every one does that I know of offers chat and email services, uh, just to name a few. They might offer personal websites, document storage, uh, and the like. Uh, the web portal that you choose is completely your choice and it's fully customizable as to what your web portal looks like versus my web portal and that's that's sort of the biggest benefit beyond behind those web portals uh, now having said that because of that and because of the customization capabilities you are most likely going to require uh, be required to have an account so you'll have to register, you'll have to set up an email address, you'll have to set up an account. Now keep in mind that even though they require you to do that, it doesn't mean you have to use it. You know, for instance, I have a Yahoo account. It's because I have used the Yahoo portal. I don't ever use the Yahoo email. So I mean, you can keep in mind, I mean, we kind of get stuck in this rut. Well, if I'm going to create this and I'm going to, well, that means I have to set it up. I don't want another email account. And that's it's not really the case. Uh, just because you have to create an account to customize that portal doesn't necessarily mean you'll use the email functionality of the web portal. Okay, so just we want to consider that. But a web portal uh, is a very unique and very useful type of website. Let's take a look at a demonstration and we'll go walk through the process of using and customizing web portals.